Hello, it's 9 p.m. in after this time to English news edition for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have uh, the Prime Minister receives the Ambassador of the Federal Republic of uh, Somalia. UN and Arab League uh, united to ask Israel to abandon its annexation plane. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, Prime Minister receives the Ambassador of the Federal Republic of uh, Somalia, Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, has received in his office uh, of the Prime Minister's office the Ambassador of the Federal Republic of Somalia to Djibouti, Dr. Mohammed Nur Haggi, for a forward visit. Uh, this meeting between the two men was an opportunity for fruitful and friendly exchanges on the excellent relations existing between the two brothers' countries. Dr. Nur Haggi did not fail to underline the central role of the Republic of Djibouti, which under the leadership of President Mahmoud Gele has always worked for dialogue, cooperative exchanges, and maintenance of peace in the region, and particularly in Somalia. Prime Minister wished uh, good luck uh, to the diplomat uh, who is uh, returning to his country's upon completion of his uh, accreditation. Within the framework uh, of the exchanges uh, between uh, the parliamentarian of Arab League, uh, the three plenary sessions of Arab Parliament was held yesterday by video conference with the participation of several parliamentary members of Arab League. Uh, this video conference session took place at the headquarters of the Djibouti National Assembly with the participation of several parliamentarian important issue and salient point uh, in the Arab world were discussed during this session. The video conference of this uh, third session was attended by the following parliamentarian, Ibrahim Ahmed Abdo, member of the Committee of Foreign Affairs and National Security, Ali Zaid Ahmed, member of Committee of Foreign Affairs, Abdo Kamil Mohammed, member of the Committee on Foreign Economic and Financial Affairs, Mahmoud uh, Hassan Farah, member of Committee of Women and Youth Education. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, has uh, met uh, this morning the Ethiopian uh, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Radwan Hussein. The meeting took place in, in the headquarters of the department. Uh, during the two months, discussed uh, the century's uh, old and close links between the Republic of Djibouti and Federal Republic of Ethiopia. It is not in, worth, not in the presence of Ethiopian ambassador to Djibouti and uh, executive and several executives of uh, his department who attend this uh, meeting. The Minister of Health, Mohamed Warsama Diriye, welcomed this morning the Ethiopian uh, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Radwan Hussein, at uh, Humbuli Airport. Uh, the meeting took place in the airport VIP lounge during which the two ministers uh, discussed uh, the centuries old and close links between the Republic of Djibouti and the Federal Republic of Ethiopia. It was not in the presence of the Ethiopian ambassador to Djibouti and several executives of health department who attended the meeting. In addition, the Ethiopian deputy ministers arrived with a large cons consignment uh, of medicines, gloves, and surgical masks and hydroalcoholic gel to support the fight against the coronavirus in Djibouti. Welcoming the Ethiopian Deputy Minister on a working visit to Djibouti, the Health Minister Mohamed Warsama Diriye praised the excellent fraternal relationship and exemplary co cooperation between our two governments. The Secretary General of the Minister of Health, Dr. Salah Benita Turab, has made the daily press briefing on the situations of COVID-19 in Djibouti. Listen to the report. Je voudrais, comme chaque jour, vous faire le point sur la situation de COVID-19 à Djibouti. On Thursday, 25 June 2020, the Health Secretary General, Dr. Salah Benita Turab, gave, as usual, the daily press briefing on the COVID-19 situation. The main data relating to the evolution of the COVID-19 pandemic in the Republic of Djibouti is as follows. 87 patients were declared cured. 250 tests were performed, five of which were positive for the COVID-19, and zero new deaths. 
The epidemiological situation is marked by a progressive and continuous regression of new infections of COVID-19. And as we have done many times before, we ask the population to be careful and to strictly respect the barrier gestures such as physical destruction, wearing masks when heading to mosques, and frequent hand washing. The overall balance is summarized as follows. 45,810 tests have been done. 4,635 people were diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and 4,269 cases were cured. 52 deaths have been recorded since the beginning of the pandemic in the Republic of Djibouti. Stay alert, protect yourself and others. The First Lady and President of National Union of Djiboutian Women, Khadra Mahmoud Haid, paid uh, a vibrant uh, tribute to the memory of the late Habib Abdullahi Wabiri, a uh, famous Djiboutian artist and much appreciated personalities in our country who passed away Monday evening. In her tribute, the First Lady and President of UNFG described the last artist as a talented icon of a uh, Djiboutian song who was able to put her aura and prestige at the service of the fraternity and the uh, cohesion of our community. The late Habib Abdullahi was not only an artist with a captivating and ingenious melody, she was also a model of courage and intelligence, said the First Lady, in addition to her ability to move the public on the artistic scenes. Uh, the late Habib Abdullahi also knew the, how to cultivate in private uh, ir irreversible bond of uh, tenderness and lasting friendship, uh, Ms. Hadra Mahmoud Haid said. Uh, she will long remain engraved in the memory of our compatriots for her generosity of heart and her valuable contribution to the influence of art and culture. Not the First Lady and President of UNFT expressing her sad condolences to the family of the deceased, the artistic community of Djibouti and all our people, famous Djiboutian artist, the late Habib Abdullahi, has over a period of nearly three decades left, left his marks on the artistic history of our country. Honorable mother, she leaves behind her several children. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja'una. The Minister of Labor in charge of administrative reform, Isman Ibrahim Robley, has set up a a multi-sectoral commission is led by the executive secretary in charge of administrative reform, uh, the secretary general of the minister of uh, launched the work of this commission so this morning at INAPA. This commission is responsible for developing an action plan focused on communication awareness, promotion of uh, digital services and solutions, and monitoring the impact at the level of public administration. SECHA presented work program to raise awareness uh, of health protection measures and adaptations of new solutions to avoid the pandemic. The integrations of these measures into the standard norms of the SDC charters in an imperative necessity to achieve the strengthening of the resilience of a state institution to COVID-19. On the eve of the commemorations of the 43th anniversary of independence, al District Council and civil society responded to the appeal of the mayor of Djibouti early this morning. Several categories such as associations took part in this operation of to beautify the arterial road of Arta Road. The first uh, de deputy mayor of uh, Djibouti, Osman uh, Mohammed, and local elected officials have swept public uh, spaces and repent the sea side works of uh, Rue Dachta, including cleaning and restyling the facades of these buildings. Uh, the mayor of, the s of Djibouti city calls uh, on city dwellers uh, to contribute to the beautification work of the clean city operation by repainting the facades of uh, administration, various shops and homes. As part of the preparation for the celebration of our country's uh, 43th birthday, the Djiboutian Town Hall, in collaboration with the OVD, have uh, this morning have this morning carried out uh, operations of removal and evacuations of wreck uh, on the Nasser Street. Uh, OVD agents and Djibouti City, all headed by the second deputy mayor has provided the removal of evacuations of used and abandoned cars, rubbish that had completely 
this figure uh, this traffic artery on this occasion mayor of Djibouti Fatuma Awal Osman solemnly request to the owners of uh, to remove their vehicle and wrecks uh, if not the Djibouti city all will remove them at the owners expense the ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Republic of Djibouti to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was received in audience uh, by Nayef al Hijrafa, the Secretary General of the Cooperation Council for Arab State of the Gulf, the newly appointed Secretary General of the GCC, discussed with the Djibouti Ambassador the existing cooperation relationship between Djibouti and General Secretariat of the Council of Arab State. Uh, the close bilateral relations uh, that uh, bond Djibouti with the Gulf State, as well as several other regional and international issues in the political and economic area noting that the ambassador of uh, Djibouti in Riyadh is also the non-resident ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Sultanate of Oman. Within the framework of the parliament, Women Parliamentarian Program, uh, the Minister of Women and Family organized training sessions uh, for women fish merchants on uh, Tajura region on the concept of uh, conservation and processing the fishery product from 23 to 24 June, the Tajara Center for Social Assistance uh, and Empowerment of Women as Fishing is a promising sector for fight against uh, poverty and uh, food insecurity. Women fish uh, vendors are also part of uh, the supply and marketing chain for fishery product. This uh, training will enable the beneficiaries to better knowledge of fish, uh, master the importance of fish quality and how to evaluate it, uh, recognize the main causes of fish deteriorations and how to prevent it from spoiling, and know the importance uh, of ice and refrigeration methods, uh, controls contamination is to master good hygienic practice, to master the techniques of uh, processing fisheries product. A delegation led by the Secretary General of the Ministry of Agriculture and Watch Fishing in charge of uh, Fishery Resource Ibrahim Elmi Mohammed and accompanied by the Project Implementation Unit, the Director of the Company Narco and the MCG Consultancy Firm in charge of supervision, traveled yesterday morning to Dekhel to meet with the head of the region of Dekhel, Mr. Aden Musa Drar, and the Health of the cooperative concerning the meeting chaired by the prefect of the region is part of the program for adaptations of rural li livelihoods uh, to climate change. It involves the start of work on hydro agricultural development in three sub watersheds of uh, Haru, Gami, Aruwo, and Mulud in the Dekhel re region, and the construction of work for more than Seventy gardens, solar pump, supply, supply of uh, greenhouses, uh, drop uh, teeth, uh, rehabilitation of reserve uh, constructions of water table, recharging skills. At the end of the session, farmers did not fail to express their satisfaction with the with this kind of uh, gesture by the government that they had long hoped for. The National Red Crescent Society of uh, Djibouti at the front line of the fight against COVID-19 in Ali Sabih, following the example of the chief towns of uh, other regions in the interior of the countries and capital Djibouti city, the National Red Crescent Society of Djibouti in partnership with the United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, has conducted an awareness campaign on the importance of a strict adherence to barrier gestures in order to effectively combat the coronavirus epidemic uh, through the intensive remainder primary objective pursued uh, being to make population aware that the gradual beginning of a significant decrease in the number of cases of COVID-19 in the country should in no way be a pretext for slackening in the national fight against this global pandemic. It should be noted that this uh, aggressive campaign to combat the pandemic will continue for a fortnight across the city of al Sabih and the entire national territory. For the international scene, the United Nations and Arab League have called on Israel to abandon its plane to annex the West Bank. Uh, listen to this report. 
which could end international efforts to create a viable Palestinian state. The call was made on Wednesday, 24 June, at a UN Security Council video conference, attended by several ministries, which is the last international meeting before this annexation plans can be implemented in July. In affirming his hostility to any unilateral decision, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called on the Israel government to abandon its plans. The objective remains to have two states, Israel and independent, democratic, contiguous, serving and viable Palestinian state, living side by side in peace and security, within recognized borders, based on the lines defined in 1967, with journalism as the capital of both states, the UN chef recalled. This is it uh, for the news.